Jalen Rose isn't always always has been an idiot. That's not really a surprise. Uh, but when he stops talking about sports and starts talking about everything outside of sports, it's when he really shows how stupid he is. And Jalen Rose put out a Twitter video that I, I think he thought was just going to be the coolest thing in the world. He was going to get so much praise for doing something like this. He says, we need to stop using the name Mount Rushmore. We need to stop talking about Mount Rushmore when we talk about greatness, when we talk about, you know, the top four basketball players of all time. Who's on our Mount Rushmore of NFL quarterbacks? Because it's just so offensive. Look at this Twitter video with a little lens flare coming out that he uh, that he recorded because Jalen Rose is just so oppressed. Why do you think Washington changed their name from Redskins? I do a show and didn't say that word for eight years. And my co-host, David Jacoby, we both said they're going to change the name one day. Why? Because it's offensive. What about the Cleveland Indians? Same thing. Why? This is on such a different level. The Cleveland Indians. I know. Like that, and it's funny because their attendance and their ratings are down drastically since they changed their name from the Indians to the Guardians. But who, what percentage of people in the world really found the name Indians to be offensive? Not the mascot, the name Indians. I Fucking know. nobody. 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 And it's, it's just so offensive. Why is Jalen Rose saying names? Well, well, well and, and what Jalen Rose is proving, what Jalen Rose is proving is what did we always say? Like, once you bend the needle one thing, they'll start crying about everything. And so now that's finally moved on to now we're – well, first when it was uh, the Redskins and then it moved to the Cleveland Indians, we said, like, it'll be the Braves. The Chiefs. It'll be the Seminoles, you know, Florida State Seminoles and Chiefs. Like, that that will happen. And now Jalen Rose is taking it to Mount Rushmore, like – Holy shit, man. And it will never stop. That's the whole problem with the wokeness. They're yeah. never happy. They're never satisfied. There's always something else to be offended over. Always. Yeah, once it changes to just colors, like the teams will just yeah. be colors, like the Cleveland yeah. Browns, I guess. Yeah. Um, and that's still, it's going to offend people. I didn't yep. change the name because it's offensive. So uh, You don't have it pulled up. There it is. Okay. What? Never mind to challenge myself and to challenge you to do something. Can we retire using Mount Rushmore? That should be offensive to all of us, especially Native Americans. You should have the same opinion as me, is what he's saying. Who the first yes, here yes. Before Christopher Columbus, that land was stolen for them when it was discovered that it contained gold. And 25 years later, to add insult to injury, four American presidents were put on what we call Mount Rushmore on the top of the dead bodies that is buried right underneath. So I call for you and for myself. I'm owning this too. Let's stop using the term Mount Rushmore. When we're talking about our favorite rappers, we're talking about our favorite movies, we're talking about our favorite players. I know you're going to see this video and I know you're going to take action. I know you're gonna take oh action. Wow. Go fuck yourself, dude. dude. Wow. Oh, this dude is so dumb. This is really what Jalen Rose is concerned about. All the land here in America at one point did belong to someone else, was mm -hmm. their tribal homelands, all this stuff. Jalen Rose, how many millions of dollars did you make playing on quote unquote stolen land? Are you willing to give up every single fucking penny you've ever earned by playing on tops of all those dead bodies? The answer is fucking no. Nope. Which is why, <laughs> if you take this stance, you're hypocritical as fuck. By the way, Jeez. there's there's actually no dead bodies under um Mount Rushmore. And by the way, this whole stolen land thing, I can debunk that really, really quick. The land was not stolen. Actually, you want to know what really got the Native Americans? It was the diseases that uh, the Spaniards and the Portuguese had brought over. That's what really kind of did them in right there. But also, before they even came, what were the Native Americans actually doing? Oh, they were fighting each other, just yeah. like every other um, every other culture around the world. The yeah, it's, it's in what China, white people did Europe, in Europe, everywhere. It's what Asians Africa. did in Asia. It's what Africans did in Africa. Yes. Yeah, exactly. and they were enslaving each other. By the way, in case you didn't know that. And by yep. the way, also Jalen Rose, you may not know this, but after the Thirteenth Amendment passed, that ended slavery. Guess what? Guess who still owns slaves in America? The Indians. The U.S. actually had to have a treaty with them 
so they can actually give up their black slaves. I bet your black ass didn't even know that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Uh, but but someone who says Jalen Rose, go fuck yourself, is Christy Noam. Blast ESPN host attempt to cancel Mount Rushmore. Not on my watch. The South Dakota governor has a warning for an ESPN host seeking to cancel Mount Rushmore because he believes the monument is offensive. Not on my watch. The four men on Mount Rushmore were amazing, flawed American leaders who helped make America what it is today, the greatest country the world has ever known. To the woke leftists obsessed with attacking these leaders, I've got news for you. Not on my watch. Uh, and she's awesome, dude. That. She's awesome. That. Yeah, she she's is. she she's one of she's one of the best for sure, man. And, and that's got you got that's how you got to respond to these weirdos. You've got to respond to them just as you know, cool, calm, and collective as you can, but also just destroying them. And yeah, that's exactly what she did, man. What what a nut job! What a loser Jalen Rose is. My goodness, man. And notice he, did, he, he didn't, didn't offer research. an alternative. He didn't offer an, an alternative of what to call it, which I wish he would have, because then we could have made fun of it. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, what would the alternative be, right? You'd have to find something else that has, like, a cu couple people featured that you could be, oh, the blank, the Mount Rushmore. And I don't know what that is. Jalen Rose doesn't know what that is. It's just for virtue signal points. That's yep. all this is. That's just to show, look at how stunning and brave I am. He, he, he was bragging, I didn't use the name Redskins for eight years. Well, what about before that? What about your 40 years before that? How many times you fucking say the word Redskins, Jalen Rose? Because yep. guess what? not that big of a deal um so it's funny to see him just get blown the fuck out by so many people with this video that he probably thought was going to be so cool and ends up just getting roasted by everybody mm -hmm. oh he was last i looked it was ratioed I, I don't know if it's still ratioed but it was uh let me look and see i if didn't see still... it ratioed when i looked yeah um, um, but I feel it, like it definitely it... could have changed oh it's it has been destroyed holy yeah. shit so yeah. when I when I looked at it, when I made a video about it yesterday, it was not ratioed. So it's taken off since then. Stop That's using all. English. It's offensive to European Amer European Americans. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's true though. See. It's true. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Net worth around fifty million dollars. Owns a bunch of quote unquote stolen land. He should donate all the real estate he owns. It's offensive. That's got almost a thousand. Let's go over a thousand likes on this comments. So, yeah, he's getting he's getting annihilated. So, yeah, it's when when you decide to play that game, there is no end point, right? Nope. There there is yeah. no there's no point at which once you decide to take this nonsensical path that it starts. There's a point where like, well, hold on here. No, that's not the way it works. So yep. you just can't do it. You never apologize because somebody else is offended. You can apologize if you think you're wrong, if you made a mistake, if you genuinely feel you made a mistake. You never apologize because someone else decided that they're offended by what you said. Fuck them. That's that's a universal rule at this point in time. You never apologize for someone else's hurt feelings.